Have you ever edited a video and the music is either too long or too short? That usually means you have to crossfade in and out and basically find a good entry and exit point to make the cut. That requires quite some manual work. Now guess what? You can forget about that. There is a new amazing function in Adobe Premiere Pro that is called Remix and that allows you to create a custom length song in only a few seconds. After I've downloaded my song, let's open up Premiere Pro and I got a timeline with video that is like 5 minutes long and I drag and drop a choice of my song that is only like 2 minutes long. Now if you would do the old school way, you will have to listen through the entire song, then duplicate it, analyze it and then crossfade the two parts together so they match somehow. But we are in the future, so let's leverage this relatively new feature in Premiere Pro. So check out this icon right here next to the timeline. So simply click and hold it and then it will give you four choices and you want to choose the Remix tool on the very bottom. Now all you got to do is drag and drop your clip until the end so the music will match the length of your visuals. Premiere will then calculate and do its magic and make the song the perfect length. Awesome! Now on the audio track itself, you'll see where Premiere chose to merge the thing together and in case you're not happy with that, in the settings you can basically tell Premiere, hey please make less or more cuts. So play around with this until you find a satisfying result. I will show you a different example and that is a scenario when you got say a 20 second section of b-roll video that you want to cut down from like two minutes and you still want to maintain the interesting parts in the song. Same thing, all we gotta do is choose the remix tool and drag and drop it in the other direction and boom, it fits the short section. Now you might ask yourself, oh, can I also remix like two different songs? And at the time of the recording of this video, the answer is no. But I got a bonus tip up my sleeves that will illustrate on how to merge two different songs the manual way, which is not overly complicated either. This bonus tip is presented to you by my friends over at Artlist, who are an awesome platform if you want to find music, for your videos, for social media and client productions. So first of all, you pick two songs and then you want to look for a place where the beat drops and make the cut there. Usually you can find that in a waveform by like identifying a section where you have like a spike. I repeat the step on the second song and now I got the timing right. Next, I drag and drop an effect called crossfade and that will blend the two different songs together. Now, not every song works equally well because different songs have different speeds, which is usually defined in BPM or beats per minute. Now, there is a way to analyze your song and choose two different songs that have like similar speeds and can be easily crossfaded together. And you can do this by typing BPM analyzer into Google and then uploading the song. However, this is a little bit complicated and whenever I blend two songs together, I'll make sure to pre-select that before using an artless function. So on the artless platform, you can say, oh, I only want slow songs up to 90 beats per minute or vice versa. That will allow you to blend the music that matches one another. Now, in case you don't know the way artless works, you subscribe to the platform, pay a monthly fee, and then you have unlimited music downloads to use in your productions. If you choose the creator plan, for example, then you can use it for social media platforms and that will cost you less than $10 per month. If you do client productions, then the pro plan is for you because it allows you even greater flexibility and commercial licensing. If you sign up with my link below and choose the annual plan, then you get like two months for free, which is a really, really sweet deal. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.